stand, standing over your bunker shot, uh, can you just talk about the logistics you were facing and what you were what you were thinking at that moment? Uh, yeah, I mean, for, we were in the right rough on 18, and um, I actually actually had a shot, but uh, the wind was kind of against me, and I hit to try to hit a cut seven iron from. I mean, we our number was 190 pretty much. I knew it was gonna fly a little bit. Um, and I just knew if I get it to the center green, it'd be good. But it didn't, it didn't cut out of the rough. And it hit the lip of the bunker and then rolled back down. And I was like, well, it's kind of unfortunate to break that thing cut. But the bunker, if it went over the bunker, was going to be, I mean, it was going to be dead. Y'all saw Luke List over there. I think he didn't end up getting up and down. But, um, or maybe he did. But um, I knew the bunker was in a good position. It's below the hole. It's just an uphill bunker shot. Um, you know, we, we talked about the fairway. I mean, I was like, I, I, I'm going to hold this bunker shot. It's going to go in. The ball, because like, we have to make this. I mean, if we want to have a chance, I think. And, um, you know, we talking about it and doing it in two different things. And um, when it hit the pan, I knew it was, yeah, I knew I hit it a little far, and I told her to kind of sit down. But it hit the pan, I guess it hit near the bottom from some replays I've seen, and uh, went in, and I just, that, uh, that feeling and that roar, just being in front of friends and family, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Were you around last year at the end for the ceremony and stuff when Russell won? I wasn't. I was a bad teammate. No, um, I was actually doing U.S. Open local qualifying, and uh, I had left town on Sunday. So I did not get to see that, but I'm sure it was just a special time. So. Well, I mean, hearing his stories all year and hearing about it, I'm sure, I mean, well, you know, was yeah. you guys expected it to be if you, you'd win this thing? Uh, absolutely. You know, I've... I'd heard, you know, how much fun they had after what, all the roars that they had, and, you know, the fun times they got to experience. And <clears throat> to win here, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. You know, being a Bulldog fan, so it was, it was exciting, especially you know, to hear his stories, and I get to compare mine to his. So it was, it was very exciting. And then uh, two and three years, uh, Georgia guys were in this. I mean, just course familiarity. No, this way. Feeling home, or what's the, you know, what's, what's the connection? Ah, uh, maybe just a sense of comfort. Uh, you know, we're gonna miss it out here. I mean, it's not an easy golf course, but I'm not gonna go ahead and say I was in the league, kind of like Russell, and kind of cruising, but um, you know, one two different ways. But no, it it helps to play this golf course as many times as we play it for sure. You know where to miss it. You know, you, you know certain putts. Some putts out here are kind of. Kind of funny, and you know them, and uh, you just you know you know when you can take advantage of the golf course. And uh, last two years, it's worked out for us. It's a great recruiting thing for our team and our program. Um, you know, two guys get to play in this event, low two scoring averages, and that's huge. No, that doesn't really happen very. That doesn't happen at any place. I know Ohio State hosts an event, but none of their guys ever get in. Um, you know, it's just a great recruiting tool, and to see two guys win it. And to know it gives, I mean, it gives young guys a sense of security. Well, if I go there, you know, these guys are winning. They've been, you know, playing opportunities as amateurs to be in a nationwide event. PGA Tour affiliated. So, and you know, you, they could do what Russell did and win as an amateur. And, I mean, Q School, is not, I mean, in the back of your mind, you know, you have status next year. It's just a sense of security. And, and to get your first win, I mean, how special is that? And of all places to do it here. No, I mean, add to it. absolutely. Uh, first win is huge. To be in Athens, I mean, words don't really describe it. Um, you know, it, a lot of support out there. I mean, it just it doesn't get any better than being here. I know this is really fresh. It's just happened. But, I mean, have you have you kind of absorbed how ridiculous the story is? I mean, you shoot a course record, you chip it for Barty on the last hole, you beat a two-time U.S. Open champion by one stroke. I mean, it's you're, you're making our jobs easier. <laughs> is it a pinch me kind of thing? Or are you just yeah, I mean, I didn't really think about it. Yeah, I forgot Lee Jansen birdied the last five holes. That's what my caddy was telling me. And I was like, well, he's at 16. I was like, well, where are we? Are we at 16? I didn't even know. I mean, it just uh, it was kind of a cluster. But no, um, it is. I mean, it's. I, I couldn't have drawn it up any better. It could have been a little easier on me if I just made like a two-footer on the last hole. <laughs> but um, the way it happened, it was just... I mean, it's a dream come true. I mean, to fight and grind and, you know, to finish off a good round that I had going that I've kind of been struggling with in previous tournaments, it was just, I mean, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't get any better than that for me.